Hi, I'm Bob Allison with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to talk about a new option we call the Fave 3. Normally, when we cut cabinet nests or other panel processing for that matter, we only use three tools. We're gonna to use a drill, we're gonna use a down shear bit, and probably a compression bit to cut the parts out. So the idea with the Fave 3 is to have your favorite three tools on a different rack at the end of the gantry, so that when you do tool changes, the movement's much less. So it has nothing to do with where the gantry is and why, it's strictly a next move. And so that makes things much faster. Now, what's really nice though, is it frees up more tool holders and the tool rack in the back. So now I've got room to put MDF door tools, dovetail drawer tools, those kinds of sets where everything has to be set perfectly. Now I can set those and forget them. So I, I get rid of all the setup time I used to have when I use those tools. Now in this video, we're actually going to cut a cabinet nest using the Fave 3. Hey, Sean's waiting for us. Let's go down to the machine. All right, we got our files ready, loading the tools up in the new Fave 3 option on the IS machines. You're gonna be able to see the ability to change tools on the fly. We're gonna get things done a little quicker. It really works nice. Now let's load the machine up and see it in action. Now that we've got our parts done, we can bring everything to the edge bander, get that taken care of, we'll bring it back, get the cabinet assembled and show you the whole thing finished. Well, Sean, your cabinet came out great as expected, and I really like this edge banding in those joints. Yeah, that one mil, the Sihisa edge bander in the showroom now, kind of nice to have. But you know what was really exciting about this project? I'm guessing the Fave 3. Absolutely. It's obvious when you factor out the Y moves in tool change, it's a lot faster. Oh, it definitely is. You know, and as a cabinet maker, you're using three tools most often. Now I've got 12 spots at the back I can set up for all that extra stuff. That means I can put tool sets back there, get them set and forget it. Yeah, it's nice not to have to set up for dovetail drawers all the time or MDF doors. Great. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.